hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will solve a question which is based on analytic function and in this particular question we have to show that the function which is equal to sine hyperbolic z is analytic so let's see how in this question our function of z which we can return as a w w function of z which is given sine hyperbolic z okay so first of all what we have to do we know that z is equal to x plus i y so we will put z is equal to x plus i y in given question so f of z which is equal to sin hyperbolic x plus i y now we have to expand this bracket by using formula that is sin a plus b or sin hyperbolic a plus b okay so sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b okay same as in hyperbolic also so sin hyperbolic a plus b this is equal to sin hyperbolic a cos hyperbolic b plus cos hyperbolic a sin hyperbolic b uh, a is equal to x and b is equal to i y so this is equal to now x plus i y will be sine hyperbolic x cos hyperbolic i y plus cos hyperbolic x sine hyperbolic i y okay and now again uh, we have to use uh, now we will use the condition of circular and hyperbolic function that sin hyperbolic i y is equal to i sin hyperbolic y and cos hyperbolic i y which is equal to cos y okay this is relation between circular and hyperbolic function and we will use over here in this question so this will be sin hyperbolic x cos y okay cos i y which is equal to cos y so this will be cos y okay similarly cos hyperbolic x sin y multiplied with i okay so till this step uh, we separated real and imaginary part of this thing sin hyperbolic z or you can say that sin hyperbolic x plus i y okay so this is our real part which is known as u sin hyperbolic x cos y and a v is means imaginary part cos hyperbolic x sin y after separating real and imaginary part to show this function is analytical function what we have to do we have to satisfy cr equation okay so now let's recall what is cr equation since cr equation is ux which is equal to vy and uy which is equal to minus of vx okay so if we show that uh, this function or this u and we satisfied this condition so then we can say that this function is analytic function okay so let uh, let's find the differentiation so ux means del u by del x partially differentiation with respect to x where y is constant okay so sine hyperbolic x differentiation is cos hyperbolic x and cos y is constant so we will write as it is um, similarly u y partially differentiation with respect to y where x is constant so it will be sin hyperbolic x we will write as it is and cos y differentiation is minus sin y so this u y is equal to minus sin hyperbolic x sin y now v okay so v x is equal to differentiation with respect to x of v function okay so v is cos hyperbolic x sin y so this will be sin hyperbolic x sin y okay you should remember this d by dx of cos hyperbolic x is sin and d by dx of 
sin hyperbolic axis cos both positive so now vy okay so vy is partially differentiation with respect to y and this is equal to cos hyperbolic x cos y okay now we have to check that uh, that ux is equal to vy or not okay so ux ux is this okay cos hyperbolic x cos y and vy is this both are equal so ux is equal to vy and uy which is equal to minus of vx okay so this is true uy which is equal to minus of vx so we can say that uh, since cr equation satisfied our function w which is equal to function of z and it is equal to sine hyperbolic z is analytic function hence proof okay so we just recall this question once again so in this question first of all show that the function is analytical so first of all we will put z is equal to x plus i y uh, then we separate real and imaginary part by using formula uh, sine hyperbolic a plus b and relation between circular and hyperbolic function and then we will satisfy the condition cr equation or cr condition that is ux is equal to vy uy which is equal to minus of vx and since cr equation satisfy the function is analytical function hence proof so i hope you understand this question uh, for more question please like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much